There has been an assault on your manhood. You forget who you are. You have mastered the art and the science of lying. You want to, but you can't. You're paralyzed. You know what being a man is? The day that I decided I will not lie anymore yeah. to myself. I'm here today talking about change, transformation. Sam's new book, Every Man a Leader. I'm excited, so what is this book about? So Every Man a Leader is part of a series of book that uh, Wake Up Warrior has put out there. The first book that Garrett wrote is called The Warrior Book. And The Warrior Book contains the doctrine of the warrior's way operating system of the warrior mentality as a modern businessman. Now, Every Man a Leader is not really my book. It's a story of the man of Warrior Week. Over 500 graduates of Warrior Week stories are cross-referenced inside of this book and specific stories of man in each chapter as we take each man through an evolution inside of the book of self-discovery. Arriving at one conclusion that you are not alone. So it feels like you're completing a Warrior Week with other men and ultimately it feels that you're discovering Warrior Week at home. Because Warrior Week was such a transformational journey and still is, and it's limited to those that just can come to the beaches of Laguna, I said, what can I do to document the possibility of this process yeah. and put it out there as a sequence that a man can discover his own Warrior Week? It sets you on the path to, to discover this leader within. And we did it using the man that has done it. So the book was never about me, the book was always about the men. So what is the goal of the book? It's for a man to be able to discover his own Warrior Week. And Warrior Week is a journey and a process to discover who you can become. Because being is a relationship between you and what? You and the source, you and the universe, you and God. You're going to be forced to discover that. But no one is actually questioning, where is that answer for me? Yeah. Why there should be a scripture or why there should be another man between me and God and the source? You discover that while you're actually leading as a husband at home, the greater version of yourself as a dad and as a businessman, as a producer that produces for his family and others. It's a service-driven journey. Yes. That's what a leader is. What makes you a leader is that those that follow you follow you from, from a place of their heart. And so we live it, we continue to learn it, only to come back and live it and lead it.